There's so many huge action scenes in the movie. It's basically the whole movie. Don't spoil it too much, <laughs> for you. Oh, could you talk us through what those fight scenes were like to film? My stunt coordinator, Mark Vanslow, this is our 19th film together. He and his team, great British stunt guys, devised the fights. They bring me in at the end of the day shooting every day. And I look at what they've done and say, well, I don't believe that, I don't believe that. Oh, that's very good, we should do more of that. When we get to do these altercations, we want it to seem as if it's the first time we've ever done it. And meanwhile, we could do it in our sleep. We've done it so many times, do you know what I mean? To make it look convincing and also so that no one gets hurt. And were there any injuries or blooper Never. moments? Never, not one. I'm very proud to say. I mean, all those fight sequences are, uh, it's a great team of guys that put those together and it's all, it's something that I don't get to do in most movies. So that's, you know, to watch Liam do it is pretty exciting too. That's always one of those pluses of when you get to do a job and you get to push yourself in ways that you haven't before. I always love those moments, you know, to be honest with you. It's something that I don't get to do a ton, but when I do, I try to do everything that, that the studio will allow me <laughs> and that my body will allow me. It's hard to shoot a movie that would in a train with no train, you know? And obviously, a derailment is very, very hard because the physics involved uh, in a train derailing are very hard. And so you need to, you know, put the characters through those same physics, which means that you will have to move whatever set you have at high velocity and twist it and turn it and, and whatnot. When everything is visual effects, um, you have to then use cables and lighting gags and things like that. And you never are really sure of what the CG is gonna look like a little bit, you know? So it's a bit of a leap of faith. But you storyboard it, you, uh, you plot it out the best you can, and uh, you try to make sure, especially that the action is character driven, because action for just action, you know, tends to be uh, boring. There's only a couple of scenes that were deleted that just to, for pace in, in, in sort of the, the beginning of the second act. They had a great little character moments from a, a, a few of the passengers. I just love them because I love every character and I, I want to be able to see as much as I can of each character.